The prime co-sponsor of two bills to reform the Port Authority was State Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, who's with us now. What was your initial reaction, Senator? Well, I can't say I was too surprised uh, because of the timing. We knew as it got later and later into the holiday weekend that that's usually a time when public officials are doing something that they know the public won't approve of, that they like to make announcements, hoping the public will be sure. distracted. So I wasn't surprised by what they did, but um, I am still very, very disappointed. I'm disappointed in the way they tried to set this up, that it's either the task force report or the bills. They addressed two different issues. Our bills didn't address structure. The Port Authority Chairman John Degnan said your bills were just tinkering around the edges. That's a quote. Well, I have a lot of respect for Chairman Degnan, but he's very wrong. Our bills did a lot more than tinker, quote, end quote, because it, it requires by law real basic accountability and transparency issues at the but Port Authority. But Governor Christie said it lacks the insight contained in his panel's report. Well, the work that his panel did is completely different. We did not address the structure of the Port Authority. The panel addressed structure. And much of that I am willing to embrace. But they set this up as if there were two competing um, Either uh, or instead uh, ideas. of and. And they're not. They should be complementing one another. And what they did by the structure is make sure that there really is no transparency built into the system. Is this going to reform, is the governor's panel's report going to provide significant reform for the Port Authority? Well, I think uh, some of it is, are things that they're already doing. Returning to the core mission of transportation is a good thing. Hiring an executive director who is a transportation expert is a good thing. So uh, there are some things in there that are quite good, selling off their real estate, but they will all take a great deal of time, in fact, probably more than years. And th our reforms would have put in place requirements for the public to be involved with what goes on there. We're running out of time, only three days until the vetoes can be overridden mm -hmm. and then and the legislature in New York is not even in session. So that's, uh, overriding a veto is not gonna happen. Right. Is there a chance that new Port Authority reform bills will go through the New Jersey legislature? Well, certainly our two leaders, Speaker of the Assembly and the Senate President, have called for a meeting with leadership of the New York legislature so that we can together discuss what our next steps are. But the fact is, the, these two governors really did not act responsibly, and I say that about both of them, one from my party, one from the other party. These are the same two people who manipulated the toll hikes. What's the one big reform, the most important piece of the reform that you think needs to be addressed. Well, I think the fact that we required in our bills that the Port Authority come to the legislature once a year and report about what their plans are, how they plan to uh, put their budget together, et cetera. That was a very big step because it keeps the legislature at least informed on an official level of what's going on there and helps to keep the public informed. That, of course, is not a requirement in this restructuring. But what really bothers me is the idea that they set these up as competition, and that's really a cop-out. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Mary Alice.